Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. So, the weapons DLC is finally out and I thought I would start it off by showing you guys how to use the new cannon and specifically how you can set up your own auto-loading system. It's going to be a very simple auto-loader and uh, it should give you a good basis. It's all going to be working off a single button and this is what I've just quickly mocked up after getting my hands on the DLC so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll be coming out with a lot more tutorials and videos and uh, maybe we'll be upgrading this in the future to be more versatile but yeah uh, let's get into it so here is my example and right now I simply have a battle cannon I've got a feeder and I've got some straight cannon belts here and these have all been loaded with kinetic rounds Let's uh, just quickly see how it works. So we've got a single fire button, and I hope it's not too loud. So we open the breach, load the round, and send it off, and uh, it just repeats that. So in the workbench, I have simply the little block platform here, and the toggle button down. It's important that it's a toggle button. And uh, I've just searched battle cannon. You could use literally any type of cannon that you like um, that is breech loaded so I'm just going to be using the regular battle cannon here and I'm going to place that down and you'll see here we have this blue arrow and that is going to be our feeding track so we've got if I go into battle cannon we have our specific sizes for the cannon that you're using so let's say I wanted a straight on here maybe I wanted it to be a corner like that and it just acts as a little track your rounds to enter the breach here so for this what we're gonna need on here somewhere in the heat entire system is a feeder I've actually put this on the wrong way if you see this arrow here it's currently facing up we're gonna want that to face down into our breach that's the way it's gonna force the rounds so uh, now that is correctly on there and it's all lined up with the arrows once again for the sake of this, I'm just going to add a couple more straights like you saw in the intro example here. And what I'm going to do is go into my select tool and I can select any of the feeder and track parts. And I'm just going to give them a round here. So they're preloaded. I'm going to select armor piercing for this one, uh, kinetic. It doesn't really matter what you choose. It's up to you. And you could load these rounds in manually from a separate store. Um, just into the belts by hand but uh, this is an auto loader why do we need why do we need manual stuff so we'll see a few on off inputs that we're going to be using as well as outputs we've got the feeder function here and that is going to be activating the motor that forces our rounds down we've got the feeding successful this is whether our round is actually in the breach and uh, here is the open breach control on the cannon itself that's just going to force the breach out and let a round go in if the feed is on. I've also got loaded and a trigger button. Now while we're here, for the example that I'm doing, I'm simply going to put the trigger on the loaded. So as soon as it registers that a round is loaded, it's going to send it off. That's a way we can have this all on one button here. So let's get our first bits of logic. And this is going to be all based on timing. So what I'm going to get is a blinker, and this is going to be for our breach. So I'm going to just paint that a red. So red is for the breach. But the timings on here, I've found a good time is two seconds on and two seconds off. That gives the time for the feeder uh, to load around in. So what we'll do is we'll take our fire button here, and we'll put that onto the blinker, and the blinker straight to the cannon there. Cool. Next, we're going to focus on the feeder. So we're going to grab another blinker here, and I'm going to put this in blue. And this one will be going on a one second loop. One second on, one second off. And we'll be putting that on the feeder. But what we don't want is our button to come on and the feeder to load before the breach has reached its uh, full position. So what we're going to do is get a delay and we're gonna give this a one second delay. And so that is going to be going to our feeder blinker. And that is literally it. 
for this very basic example is just timing and uh, we'll quickly test this so our breach opens feeder goes in it fires and there we go so we heard that the feeder was actually going twice in the cycle it was also feeding when the cannon was firing so what we can do here is in the feeder I'm just going to increase this by two seconds and what that will do is give the time for the breach to close, the cannon to fire and the breach to open once more. So let's try this, opens, feeder goes on and as you can see there is no second feeder fire there. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually compress this into a microcontroller. We don't actually have delays on microcontrollers. So here is my microcontroller that I have used for this. And we're gonna go in here and take a look at what I've done. So we have the blinker for the breach is exactly the same. The feeder blinker is exactly the same. But in place of the delay, we've got a capacitor. And with the charge time being on one second, like the delay, and the discharge time being on zero, it takes one second to charge and then it instantly releases which is what our delay does so it is doing the exact same thing as the delay in this scenario i just wanted to show you this uh, in case you were confused that there was you know no delay in the microcontrollers but uh yeah super simple and uh you know what, once more i'll let the cannon rip for you and there we go on the microcontroller now fire and these cannons are so cool i can't wait to put these on some freaking ships and tanks. Oh. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want more Stormworks DLC, then hit that like and subscribe button. Because I'm going to be have some videos coming out. Well, I'm not going to waste any more time. You guys go and build your freaking guns, man. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.